Hi guys, welcome back. This is part four of the troll video. In part three, we covered rows one through to the end of 21. In this video, we're covering rows 22 through to the end of 23. We're also going to be adding in our mouth, sewing on the nose, and adding some safety eyes. So let's get started. So I'm using my blunt end yarn needle and I'm going to go ahead and thread this strand of yarn. You'll notice I just bent it over and I push the bend through instead of pushing the end through. Makes it a little bit easier. All right, we're going to guesstimate where the middle of his face is. If you turn it directly at you, you can see the sides of his cheeks here. So we're going to push in the middle. That's about row 17 or so. Just push it in and pinch it about like that. Okay, so inside, you see that pinch? We're going to hold it with our yarn. We're going to hold that shape. And we're going to go down right about there. And we're going to wrap around that spot. Wrap a couple times. Now I'm just going to tie these off and pull it tight. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this one yarn tail. Just going to cut it up shorter and leave a little bit of it hanging there. Okay, now I'm going to go over a little bit and do the same thing just a little ways over. I got two side by side there. I'm going to go one more over. One, two, three. That's two. And three. And I'm going to go over on the other side. See, this is where we first went in. I'm going to go over here. Just bring that over. And then again, one over. Okay, and before pulling that all the way, I'm just going to go through that loop. Kind of knots it off. I'll do that one more time. So let's check it out. Aha! <laughs> so there we got the start of his mouth and we're going to actually work on this a little bit more after. See I added in some black there to outline the mouth. You can also change uh, the shape a little bit after we stuff him and yeah we'll we'll take a look more at his mouth later on and I'll show you again what it looks like on the inside here. And now we can get rid of this yarn tail and actually I shouldn't have cut that one up shorter first I should have knotted those off but that's okay not a problem I'll just knot this off here and that did nothing so I'll do that again there we go now I'm going to cut it free and I'm going to leave some length so it never works itself free now I can just leave that tucked inside the head Alright, I've already added my marker and we're ready to carry on to row 22. One single crochet in the next two stitches, then crochet two together, and we're going to repeat that sequence three times, and then one single crochet in the remaining 15 stitches. So I'll go ahead and mark off the 12th stitch from the start. So I know when I land on that marker I'll be crocheting two together. So in this row you might see gaps in your decreases, even if you haven't seen them previously, because things are being pulled a little bit more here. So if you do, don't worry about it, just crochet either in the front loop or in the back loop when you crochet two together. 
I'll finish row 22 and now we have 24 stitches around. Row 23 is one single crochet in each one of those 24 stitches. So I'll continue with the pattern. I'll meet you back here when we land on the marker. I'll finish row 23 and we still have 24 stitches around. I've just pulled up my last stitch so I don't lose it and now we're going to sew on the nose. Before we continue on with the body, we're going to stop and we're going to add the nose. And if you're doing safety eyes, then now is the time to put them in. But we have to add the nose first. So let's grab that nose that we made. And we are going to thread the yarn needle. And we're going to weave the yarn tail down to the bulb of the nose. So go from the corner and just weave it down the side. So we don't want to scrunch up the nose, so just straighten it out. Now just knot it off down here so when you pull on it, it doesn't scrunch it up. So now I can pull on that, it's not going to pull on the side of the nose. We're going to temporarily stuff the head and this just makes it, doing it this way makes it so much easier when you sew the nose in place. We're going to take the stuffing out before we add the eyes in. but. Don't have to worry too much about shaping them or anything. You just want something to hang on to while you sew this nose in place. So this part of the nose, this part, is going to sit right on or about row 10. So we just count the rings from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we know it's right there, right on that crease. Okay. And now what I do is I just pinch it together. Now guys, you can pin this in place if it's going to make it easier for you. I've done this a few times and I just found this pretty simple, but I'm used to sewing amigurumi. So I might look, make it look simple and it might be a little bit more awkward for you. It's not difficult. It just might be awkward to hang on to. So if it is, go ahead and pin it to hold that shape for you. See how I'm doing there? Just pinching it there. I'm going to get my first stitch in right beside that crease before the bulb. The bulb is the nose. And I'm going to bring it over to the other side, underneath. But it's going right through the face. So see my yarn tail's there. I'm going to go back into the side of the nose, bring it into the head, and up on the other side. So again, I'm going right through the head itself. Bring my yarn needle right on the edge, and I'm going to go back over and do the same thing. And again, I'm just going to stop and make sure that I'm happy with that. And you might want to stop again and make sure that you're going up the middle. Although it's a troll, so I don't know if it would really matter. Alright, so you can see by squishing that together, it gives us a nice shape to the nose and there shouldn't really be any need to stuff it but now's the time to stuff it if you need to. Hi guys, I'm coming in with an edit because I want to show you something about this nose, the very top of it. And I didn't even actually realize this until I was almost done the entire video series and it's not a problem but I just want to give you the option of doing more with the top of this nose instead of just closing it up like I did in this video because in this video all I did from here was just sew around the edge and then I figured at the end I would just shape it with my fingers and that's the look you're gonna get right here but if you wanted to do more with it you can totally do that from here see this guy here has a different look altogether and I actually stuffed in his nose and stuffed the top so when I closed up the top of his nose I brought it down just a little bit stuffed it and then closed it up 
like that. You see what I mean? It's like a different look from this guy. So I want to give you the option from here because I don't want you to be disappointed at the end that you didn't get the nose that you wanted. And this one is closed up a lot sooner, pushed down a little bit, and then closed up. You can play around with it. Absolutely. And then this is the guy we've been working on for the entire video. And you can see the nose here. I was just able to pinch the top and then sew it together. You can stuff it if you want to. Put a little stuffing in there. Give it a little extra pizzazz. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit fatter there. And then I gave this guy a little bit of a crooked nose just by, after I was finished sewing, I brought a stitch in there and just pulled it. So I'm going to show you that. So if this is too short and you wanted to give more of a crinkle, you can actually add more rows to this. Now remember, there's 10 stitches across. All we have to do, even though we finished off, is just grab that corner yarn tail, insert a hook in the corner, and pull it through, chain one, and then continue crocheting across. And then you can add rows to your nose. Okay, and now if your yarn tail is too short, no worries, you can add one in. All you would do is just pull the yarn through the corner, chain one, and then continue on. Nope, my yarn tail's too short, so I'm going to finish off here and I'll insert I'll insert some yarn. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull that yarn tail through, and then I'm gonna pull it all the way through and just pull it tight. And I'll just tuck that inside the nose. And now I'll grab some yarn and I'll come back over here and I'll pull the yarn through. chain one and now I can continue on. See I already put a row on there, added a row and now I'm going to add another row. And if you wanted to add stitches to the row, like if you wanted to make the row wider, you all you have to do is put two single crochets into one stitch. Adding two stitches will add a stitch to the row. Adding two stitches into one stitch. So I already went in there so I'm going to do another one. So now my row has 11 stitches. If I want to add more, I'll put two in the next one. Now my row has 12 stitches. You see what I mean? You can play around with this. You're not stuck with that nose I gave you. I remembered this at the very end because I had designed these guys last year and it's been so long since I made them I had totally forgotten how I did the how I did the nose differently and I was just going off my notes that I had written okay so there I've added two rows and I've actually added two stitches to the top and I could keep going if I wanted to now I have something a little bit more extra to play with there now I can push it down and sew it closed if you wanted to close this up and not sew it to the top of the head. You can just sew the sides. Sew the sides closed. I'm just sewing the uh, the top edge down to the to nowhere actually, just sewing it down. Okay, I've closed the top. And now I can close those sides. Now I can just start sewing it to the head and just see what happens here. I pulled the side in. I'll go back in the same stitch hole and I'll go grab the corner and I'll sew it to the top of the head, pulling as I bring that yarn tail, pulls it in, see? So you see what I mean? You can you can do things like that and give them an extra bit of a brow there. And then you uh, sew the remaining closed. And then at the very end I'm going to show you how to add hair, and then you'll have more of a quizzical brow, I guess you'd say. So yeah, you can play around with that, guys. 
Absolutely. And this is the guy we've been working on all along, like I said, and I just pinched, I sewed him closed here in this video, and then at the end of this series, I just pinched the top of his head and held that pinch with some yarn. So, and that was the look that we got there. Nothing fancy, see? And don't be afraid to make mistakes with this part because you can always cover it up if there's a mistake with hair. But see, because I stuffed it here, gave a bit more. Oh yeah, and I was going to show you that uh, crease in his, forehead, in his nose. So I bring my yarn tail down here, back into the head and through the nose. And now I'll just wrap it over a stitch post so it has something to hang on to. And I'll go through the head and I'll come out anywhere and I'll just pull that gave him a little bit of a crooked nose where is that guy with the crooked nose oh there he is all right guys I'm gonna let you get back to the original uh, clip the way I had it the first time and the next one is just going to show you the original nose that we started off with and I just sew it flat to the head and you can totally do that you don't need to add this at all it's up to you okay now we can close up the top I'm just going to flatten it out on top of the head that's exactly what I did to this guy up here and I'm just going to go around the So the top of his head is closed. Now I can just knot off anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Just anywhere close by where I came out of. I'm just wrapping around a stitch post. And I go through that loop and pull. Now I can bring this down anywhere and cut it free. Pull on it slightly and cut. Now is the time to add the safety eyes before we continue on any further. And just make sure of placement before you stick them in because once you attach safety eyes, the backs on them, they can't be taken apart. So you have to be pretty sure of where you want them. So I just suggest playing around with different um, rows until you're super happy with how they look. Okay, and now there's different types of eyes that you can get. Um, these ones I've actually never seen before. I found these ones in a thrift store. And I thought these ones would need a special tool because most safety eyes come with these plastic backs and they have a screw like uh, look to them and you can attach them without a special kind of tool but these ones <laughs> I've never seen these kinds before and I was just going to show you on film and I actually attached it very easily with just my fingers uh, this package says from Japan I believe it's an older one that came from the thrift store so I lucked out there I actually thought these would be useless to me because I don't have that tool and I would just have to glue them in and then I, I got these ones online as well. And I got them from Lisa and Ed's Animal Eyes. And they come with the metal back, so you don't need any tools at all. You can just put them together with finger power. So you get your eye into place, and then you'll put the back on, and you'll squeeze it together, and you'll hear it click. I'm going to show you that on film. And then once they're together, there's no taking them apart. So when you're looking online, just make sure that you inquire if they have metal backs or plastic backs and if they'll need a special tool to install them. Okay, these ones are 15 millimeter. So this guy here is wearing a 15 millimeter. And this one I ended up going with a 10 millimeter. Size of eyes is totally up to you. It's all personal preference. You don't have to do what I'm doing and you can definitely play around with the placements. I actually like these little brown ones. These ones are smaller. They're 10 millimeter. All right, so now I'm going to take out that stuffing and these just squeeze into place. There we go. And then I'll do the other side. And once these are attached, you cannot take them apart. So be sure of the placement before you go ahead and attach backs. Otherwise, you'll be living with regret. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the head video. 
and we can head on over to part 5 where we're going to continue on with rows 24 and onward and we'll be crocheting the body. I'll see you over there.